Hi there Thunkers and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to talk about introducing randomness to your Thunkable app. We're going to do this with math blocks and list blocks. Let's get started. So first we're going to go to the math drawer of blocks and we're going to fetch the random integer between two numbers block and the random fraction block. This will return a decimal value between 0 and 1. Then in the list blocks we're going to get the random item of list block and we're also going to get the shuffle block which will shuffle a list and return it in random order. To demonstrate how you could use these blocks in your project let's go back to our design screen and add a label. We'll make this label say click for a random number and we'll call it random number. In the blocks we will say that when our user clicks on this label we will return a random number between 1 and 100. As you can see, you can type in any lower and upper number for this block. Now we're going to work with the random fraction block. Instead of just doing the same thing where we print a number, we're going to use this to return a random true or false value. So this time we'll put in a label and we'll make it say click for a random true false value and we'll call this label true or false. This time in the blocks, we will say that when this label is clicked, we will change the label's text. We'll say that if the random fraction generated is less than 0 0.5, we'll set our label's text to true. Otherwise, we will set our label's text to false. Now let's test this out. So I can click my random number label, and as you can see, I get different random numbers. And then if I click repeatedly on this true false label, you see that I'm returning true and false values. Now back in the design tab, we're going to use this random item of list block to make kind of a magic eight ball thing that will return different answers. So let's add a group to our project and we'll color it black. Then we'll place a label in this group and we'll give it a white background color so you can see the text. And I'll just center the text in this label. I'll do the same with my other labels. And then this label can say, click for an answer. And we'll name this label magic eight. And back in the box, we'll say that when the user clicks on the magic 8 label, we will return a random item from our list of answers. I'll just fill in a few answers here. So these answers, I'll go with yes, no, maybe, outlook not so good, it is certain, and ask again later. Of course, you can have any answers you want on this list. And for our final label, we'll make it say click for a shuffled list, and we'll center that text again. And we'll call it shuffle list. And for this label in the blocks, we'll say that when the label is clicked, we will shuffle this list one, two, three, and we'll use a list block to make a text from this list and display that text on our label. And now we're ready to test out our entire project. So once again, I can click here for a random number. I can click here and it'll randomly give me true or false. Now I can click on my magic 8 label and you can see I'm getting different values here. It is certain, yes, outlook not so good. And when I click on my final label, it'll give me the list 1, 2, 3 in different random orders. And now you've seen four different ways to introduce randomness to your Thunkable project. We hope you find this useful as you build with Thunkable. Thank you so much for watching and as ever, thanks for thunking. 